So you can break it that way. And then let's talk about this. Here's a syntax that I really like for parsing files in Bash. This is strict mode enabled. We do a while read, and then we have name and URL. So we read two fields and we're gonna echo the name and the URL from data.txt. I will show you what's in data.txt. It's a simple text file of name space URL. So if we run, uh, which one was it? Was it 04? I already forgot. <laughs> okay. If we run 04, we can see that we get name equals Dave space Dave comma URL equals nothing. That's not good. That's not right. What we wanted to have happen was what's in 05. We have the exact same logic here, just without the strict mode, without the IFS being set there. We run this and we get name equals Dave URL equals this. So this is not great. It's not fantastic. Sure, you could work around this. I could just put like IFS equals this here. So it'll only last for the read command. You probably should be doing something like this if you're reading a file. But I just wanted to showcase weird ways that this could break. If you start putting this stuff in your bash scripts, it's gonna break in ways that you might not be prepared to deal with. Um, I say that if like a beginner, I know a lot of people are like, hey, I'm just starting to learn bash. Should I be using the strict mode? Or hey, I'm in bash. I'm using the strict mode and it's breaking. It's like, I'm so sorry if it's breaking. It's gonna be very hard to debug. It's already hard to debug sometimes bash scripts. This I think makes it harder to debug.